Alexis Sanchez's start at Manchester United hasn't been as strong as Man United fans would have hoped. I want to explain why I think that is the case and I want to hear what you have to say about Sanchez as well. So far at Man United, Sanchez has played 10 games. He's got one goal and two assists. I think we can all admit that we expected a little bit more of Alexis Sanchez at this point, because when we signed him from Arsenal in January, it looked like an absolutely outstanding signing. And it certainly hasn't been through a lack of game time. In those 10 games, he's completed the 90 minutes on six of those occasions. And in the other four, he's played a minimum of 72 minutes of football. So Alexis Sanchez has been in this United team right from the get-go, right from his debut against Yeovil, where he was fantastic. Probably, one, probably the man of the match, got an assist, but you just saw his overall game was there to see. Probably world-class player. You know, he wanted the ball, running at players with the ball at his feet, his passes in and around the team, his desire to win the ball. You saw everything that you wanted to see from Alexis Sanchez in that game. And take a game like Liverpool as well. He played the full 90 minutes, may not have scored in that game, but he made himself such a pest in attack. Always hassling the Liverpool defence, always pressuring. And when you press high up the pitch, it helps your whole team. But Danny Welbeck was great at doing that. Alexis Sanchez is on a different level to Danny Welbeck, so it's not unfair to have expected a little bit more of Alexis Sanchez. And Sanchez himself expects more of what he's done so far. He said he expected better of himself, He's struggling, well, he struggled with the move from Arsenal in January. He said it's the first time in his career he's moved in January. And he said himself that he's a self-demanding player. He's putting the pressure on himself, just like, the, just like the media is, I suppose. But Sanchez expects better of himself. And that, for me, is why he's going to be an outstanding player next year. I've got absolutely no doubt. I think he's going to score 20, 25 goals next year. I'm not worried about that. But the problem at United right now, for me, is down to two things. Number one, it's his position. Sanchez has played left wing, he's played number 10, played supporting striker, played right wing. When he's dropping deeper, he's almost a central midfielder. Right now, it doesn't feel like Mourinho knows his best attacking formation or the best position to play Sanchez in week in, week out. And that's making it difficult for him to establish an identity on this team. When you've got sometimes Martial playing left, but instead you've got Sanchez, Mata playing in the middle, Lingard sometimes, Mata on the right, Rashford other times. The only certain is Lukaku up front. And I think that's a problem for Sanchez. I, you know, he did do that at Arsenal as well, kind of drifted in between positions. But what I want to see next year, or between now and the end of the season even, from Mourinho is to use Sanchez in the same position week in, week out. For me, that should probably be in the number 10 role. It doesn't mean that he can't drift left and drift right, but that would allow Sanchez, when he's facing the goal, to play in the left wing, play in the right wing, play in Lukaku, maybe even bring Pogba in from deep. That's where I want to see Sanchez operate more. He's got the ability to play that number 10 role probably better than anybody in our team. Maybe apart from Juan Mata, who could also be a fantastic number 10 in that position. But I don't really want to see Sanchez changing position week in, week out. It's making it hard for him. And something else that's making it hard as well for me, and the second reason, I think is because our central midfield is not creating enough. Paul Pogba, Nemanja Matic, Scott McTominay. Through a lack of creation from our midfield, Sanchez drops deep because he's getting frustrated at a lack of chances that are coming towards him. He did it at Arsenal a hell of a lot. And he was so good at Arsenal that he ended up scoring as well. But what we want to see is Sanchez on the end of chances, not Sanchez specifically creating chances. He will get some assists as well this season or next year as well. But we want to see Sanchez scoring the goals. He is an elite top level player, 29 years old, technically in the prime of his career. We've got to get him in his best position. And something that will help that is Paul Pogba creating more from deep Nemanja Matic doing the same and Scott McTominay. We've got to stop Sanchez from dropping too deep to receive the ball and start creating attacks himself. We want Sanchez on the end of them. But I'm not worried about Sanchez next year. As I said, I think he's going to score 20, 25 goals, no problem whatsoever. But I want to know from you, what do you feel is the main problem for Sanchez at United right now? Is it his position, like I've said there? Or is it to do with the midfield? Or is it something entirely different altogether? You let me know in the comments below, as always. I think Sanchez will be here next year. Of course he will be. But who else will be? Check out this video here. I've done a little list of a full United squad and who I think Mourinho will keep and sell going into the summer transfer window. Plenty leaving, but not Alexis Sanchez.